A little bit of everything for everyone, as it should be, coming up right here, right now. Greetings petrolheads and welcome to romrom.net, the channel sharing the joy of sim racing and to a regular news roundup. If you have any news for us, send us a mail to news at romrom.net. Thanks for watching, my name is Serta and I will be your host for this video. We were about to promise no Automobilista 2 news this week and then they released yet another important update as have done iRacing, Wreckfest and well, see for yourself, will ya? Because of the Steam Next Fest, Nacon have published a working demo of WRC10 which you can download and play for free until the 22nd, that's this Tuesday. The demo brings two stages each in Croatia, Estonia and Spain Catalonia, but neither coaching nor training, more's the pity. While the support for Simocube bases was mediocre in WRC 8 and 9, we expected much better support here and while all in all it works, the force feedback is quite bad with only differences in the road being transmitted but very little of the feel of the car. The graphics are acceptable but the lack of virtual reality support is surprising as VR support is nowadays a standard in sim racing. All in all, and while we accept this is a demo, it's not like we were blown away by it. But test it out by yourself and tell us your opinion in the matter. Just before the Steam summer sale starts, which we expect to happen on the 24th, the owners of R Factor 2, Carcraft and so on have started a sale which will go on until the 24th. While you could get the NASCAR Heat games cheap, we don't think you should do that. Rather, get the excellent Carcraft for 6.11 euro USD or get R Factor 2 for 12 euro USD. With regards to R Factor 2, be advised it seems to be the most most expensive of all sims, all things considered, but it has an enormous amount of mods, therefore you don't really need to buy any DLCs, ever, at all. Talking about our Factor 2 DLCs, Studio 397 have put together a GT3 starter pack for 32 Euro USD, which has 13 cars, Sebring and the newly issued Spa in it. While we consider the price to be too high, at least now you know about it and can decide for yourself. And while we're talking about sales, Aceto Corsa Mod Makers Race Sim Studio have started their own summer sale. The mods are of high quality and often enough worth every penny. Okay, new may be a stretch because I confess we missed it when it came out on the 1st of June, but remember our news video for that week is over 20 minutes long. Not an excuse, just an explanation. So sorry for that Wreckfest fans, since the 1st of June there is a new tournament going on in the Wreckfest world. As always, they include a new track which is a refurbished and heavily updated version of their very first track, the proof of concept of what is possible within the game and a way to test cars and the software. The track looks cool with many different ways to wreck your vehicle, but we are left wondering if the developers aren't scratching the bottom of the barrel already. We're not protesting because what Wreckfest brings with it is already enough to have fun for a very long time. Just wondering. As it's so often the case, this version of Wreckfest also brings some bug fixes, but the list is very short. Seems getting Wreckfest working on PlayStation 5 eats up all of the time of the development team. As always, new seasons bring updates. In this case, iRacing is bringing the Porsche 911 GT3R to the sim, adding it to the other 911s it already has. Also, new in iRacing are Spiegelberg, also known as Red Bull Ring, and the Nashville Super Speedway, the latter coinciding with its reintroduction to the NASCAR roster. And the Fantasy Street Track Chicago Street Circuit, scanned in collaboration with NASCAR on Chicago. 
If you are more the open wheeler type but not yet experienced, get yourself a Formula V for which you don't have to pay extra besides the monthly fee, which is a beloved beginner series. But careful, beginner series doesn't mean it's an easy car to drive. Already part of the sim but updated were the SCCA Spec Racer Ford, the BMW M4 GT3, Dirt Road Ladder Overhaul and the Volkswagen Beetle Lite. A lot of tracks got AI lines and are therefore opened to be raced against the AI. Also, the AI now knows how to drive many more cars. The developers have done updates to the damage model. The UI has been updated, but it still looks like from 1999. And for those doing race control, a new tire on track detection system has been introduced. For now, only on selected places on Spa, we expect it to be introduced also in other tracks. And you can adjust pace and laps on the fly with a new admin command. Tire smoke and dust have been updated, as have sparks, backfires and in general visual exhaust effects. Heat haze and water effects have also been tweaked. Oh, and we love that they gave some training to the pace car driver, quote, on the states of matter, end quote, so that the pace car doesn't drive through solid walls. Away from the content, the old forums are going to be closed shortly, replaced by new forums. The telemetry has gotten some more data you can read out, wheel and pedal calibration has been tweaked and iRacing now supports the Thrustmaster SWF1000 wheel. Oh yeah, and so many physics tweaks on cars and tracks you could come to the conclusion that Reza is developing it. By the way, we still find it funny when iRacing says something comes free into the content. No it doesn't, pilots are prepaying monthly already. As you will know, we regularly comment races by, amongst others, the Global Enduro Group. Next week we're gonna try something different as Global Enduro will be racing 6 hours in Le Mans. As it fits Le Mans, it's going to be a multi-class event with LMP2 and GTE cars simulating 24 hours and with changing weather. Follow the 45 drivers and 21 teams trying to survive and even win the race in our channel. 6 hours of stream on YouTube and Twitch. Le Mans, here we come. Truth to be told, we discussed internally if we should bring these news to you. We'll end up becoming the channel that brings you Automobilista 2 news, but we went through the changes published by Reza and decided it was worth yet another chapter in our news. And if we end up being known as the Automobilista 2 channel, so be it, there's worse things to be known by, truth to be told. We are now at version 1.2.0.8 8 of the sim. This last version brings seasonal foliage to Imola. Also, Reza have worked on showing the shadows right when sitting in the cockpit and the real weather forecast now allows for the simulation of the weather in 24 hour races. Reza have also corrected many small issues in the localizations in different languages. Remember we told you last week they had worked on the physics of tire treads? Well, they were at it again this week fine-tuning them for many car classes, and then many other fixes like engine brake maps and dampers. Also, the AI got a lot of fixes in different tracks, the sound got fine-tuned, and tracks and vehicles so tons of fixes. In fixes between the 1205 and this point 8, they added fixes to the diffuser and rear wing aero of GTs and Metal Moro cars, added VR cams to Adelaide and updated liveries to the 2021 stock cars. Man, Automobilista 2 has come a long way in this one year and Reza are not stopping. At all. We are not stopping producing videos either and we can prove it as soon as you check the playlist to the left or the video to the right. Until next time, save fuel, collect pickup and we'll see each other on the podium.